Hello everyone, welcome back to the shed. Uh, in this uh, in this video, we're going to be having a little look at uh, one of my recent acquisitions. As you can see, it's a uh, it's a moped. Uh, this particular moped is a Peugeot Speed Fight Two uh, One Hundred Two Stroke. So, let's have a little look around her. <laughs> Okay then, so yeah, uh, as I said, picked it up fairly recently. Uh, didn't pay a great deal of money for it. Um, it's uh, not in bad condition. It runs. It does run. Uh, it's got an MOT until uh, I think it's until around July time. Um, it's a little bit tatty, uh, things like that. Um, fair amount of exhaust corrosion. Uh, I'm not sure that's uh, I'm not sure that that's original, so uh, I'll have a look into that. Um, one thing I have noticed with these is parts are incredibly cheap. They're ridiculously cheap. Uh, there's a few scuffs all around. Another thing that's worth mentioning: the brake. Don't even know how it's got an MOT with a brake like that. Um, it was mentioned as an advisory that there was little uh, that a little problem with the brakes. How that got an MOT, I have absolutely no idea. Um, so that's uh, something I need to look into. Keep coming around the front. Obviously, it's got L plates on. The previous owner didn't have a bike license. Obviously, I'll get get them taken off. That brake uh, uh, is a, as you can see, a lot better. Um, it's done seventeen thousand six hundred and four miles at the moment. Yeah, it's um, a bit dirty, a bit grubby. A uh, couple of evidence, you know, a little bit of evidence of um, some fluid leaking. I'm not sure that that shock absorber is any good anymore. What I do find uh, interesting with this is this uh, this front shock absorber arrangement. It's quite uh, quite novel, and it's um, single sided. So even the front wheel and the rear wheel are uh, single sided. It's quite. Uh, Quite unusual, so yeah, it's quite uh, quite interesting. Uh, again, more evidence of scuffs. Um, the uh, the colour scheme on this is actually a um, Peugeot 307 World Rally Championship Special Edition. Um, I don't know whether that was particularly rare or how limited it was, um, but it'd be a shame to uh, lo lo you know lose that feature. So I've, I want to try and fix up some of these plastics without damaging. I mean that one is damaged, but yeah, you, you get you get where I'm going with that. I want to try and retain some of its originality, if I can. Okay, yeah. So there's plenty to be getting on with. I, I do know the uh, the previous owner told me that um, it's had a uh, a recent piston uh, and barrel, uh, and that was due to an airlock in the oil feed. Uh, being a two-stroke, obviously, it's got a separate oil tank for the for two-stroke oil, and there was an airlock within that, and it was obviously not. Um, it was obviously not able to get to the into the cylinders where it needed to be, and it caused it to seize. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's uh, that's that's fairly recent. What I may do, though, however, is um, give it a little refresh anyway, and uh, see where we uh, see you know see how it is. Um, what I'll um, what I'll do is uh, I'll uh, take it outside and give it a give it a quick fire up, and then you can all hear it in its two-stroke glory. Okay, I've got the key. Let's get the key in there. Right, with these scooters, you have to uh, pull the brake in and press the uh, ignition button. Obviously, this brake's not doing anything, but it's uh, it's electronic switch. So uh, yeah, contact. quite smoky. Judging by where this smoke's coming from, uh, I'm guessing 
that the exhaust where it leaves the front of the engine is leaking. I think it needs a new gasket at the very least and possibly a couple of new studs. There we go. It does run, not particularly well. That's enough of that before I uh, smog myself out in my own uh, in my own garage. As you can see, it does run. Uh, doesn't run brilliantly. Um, as it gets warm, um, it does tend to uh, it does tend to settle down, and it's quite uh, you know she's quite it runs quite nice actually. It, um, it, you know it uh, it idles nicely. Um, it, it becomes less smoky as well. Um, as it warms up uh so yeah i think i think i've got a little bit to uh, be getting on with i definitely need to pull the carb apart and give it a good clean i'll get it in me uh i'll get it in my ultrasonic cleaner and uh, give it a once over um so yeah um there's a few videos uh, a few videos to come with this um so if you're into uh if you're into two stroke engines and uh, put you know scooters for for uh, for uh you know anything really uh, then uh, by all means follow along uh Anyway, yeah, latest acquisition for Kev Shad. Okay, so hopefully you uh, hopefully you liked the video. If you did, give us a like below. Don't forget to uh, comment and uh, hit that subscribe button, guys. It really does help. Thank you very much. Bye bye now.